Today we will look at the microscoping assessment of a breast tumour and how it is staged with the TNM staging protocol. We saw a tumour located in the upper outer quadrant of the breast, measuring 3.5 by 3 cm. We took a section of the tumour adjacent to the fat with the posterior margin. The size determines the T staging of the breast tumour, in this case PT3. We sent the samples for processing into microscopic sections for histological evaluation. Moving ahead, we will focus on the tumour with the posterior margin. This is the histological image of the tumour on the right and the corresponding gross image on the left. At low power, the tumour occupies the whole of the pink area and appears to infiltrate the adjacent fat. The tumour is some distance away from the posterior margin which corresponds to the gross section. At medium power, we can see the architecture clearer, which is important for grading of the tumour. The tumour appears to be forming tubular structures in a haphazard fashion, surrounded by desmoplastic stroma. This is the classical appearance of a ductal carcinoma. The degree of tubule formation is important in grading of ductal carcinoma. At high power, we can look for the other two parameters of grading, namely nuclear pleomorphism and mitotic count. In this image, we see marked nuclear pleomorphism. The nuclei are of different sizes and shape, and prominent nucleoli. In the middle, there is a mitotic figure. The more mitotic figures seen, the higher the grade of the tumour. In summary, grading of ductal carcinoma is determined by the degree of tubule formation, nuclear pleomorphism, and the mitotic count. Here is a microscopic image of an axillary lymph node and the corresponding gross section. At low power, there is an absence of lymphoid follicles and germinal centers. Zooming in, we see malignant cells with large nuclei surrounded by lymphocytes. After examining all 27 lymph nodes submitted for processing, 19 nodes were deemed involved by tumor. Thus, the nodal stage is N3. The job of a pathologist is to provide the diagnosis and useful prognostic information, such as grade, determined by degree of tubule formation by the tumour, nuclear pleomorphism, and mitotic count. The tumour stage, determined by the size of the tumour and the number of lymph nodes involved. And finally, assessment of margins for the presence of tumour, which is important to the surgeon. Thank you for your attention and hope you have learned what happens in the pathology lab.